Hello guys. In this video tutorial, we will tell you how to add the HIPAA form feature to your app. Now let's add the HIPAA form feature. Go to my future section, click on view all and search HIPAA form. Click on the future to add it to your app. Please note, you can also add multiple HIPAA form features to your app. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section. Enter the form name here. Click on the form icon to change the icon. If you want, you can select the icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Next, enter the email ID to which you want inquiries to be sent to. Click on add more to add multiple email addresses if you want to delete the email ID field. Click on the trash can icon. Now enter the subject to the email. Check mark this checkbox if you want to send inquiries confirmation emails to customers. If you don't want you, your users to receive emails, you can uncheck this checkbox. Next, check mark the digital signatures checkbox to allow users to upload digital signature from their library or allow them to directly sign on the app. Tick mark this option to autofill data of the user in the form. The form fields including name, email, and phone number will be automatically filled in the form once, once they log in. Here you can provide a description and upload a header image that will be displayed on top of the form. Next comes form fields. In this section you can add edit fields, thereby creating a custom form for your specific needs. Here you will see active field, field type, field name, hint option, PHI option, and mandatory fill option. Please note, by default, the protected healthcare information or PHI checkbox is checked. With PHI enabled, you can protect sensitive healthcare information and will not be included in the notifications and autoresponder emails, and the data will not be shared with any third party. You can also tick mark the PHI checkbox against a particular field to protect the information field by the users for the respective form field. Similarly, you can uncheck the PHI checkbox for the form fields that are not sensitive. From here, you can make the form field active or inactive. Next, you can select the field type from the drop-down, such as name, radio, checkbox, email, QR code, bar, barcode, etc. Edit the field name, add a hint for the form field, enable disable PHI option for the particular field, and make the field mandatory for the user to fill. Similarly, you can edit the other form fields as well. If you want to delete a form field, then click on the trash can icon or else click on the add new field button to add a new form field. Now let's move to language settings. Under language settings, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up on the app. Just to inform you, you can enable payment for your HIPAA form from my app's backend, which is discussed in the below section. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of the HIPAA form feature. Click, a, click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. From here, select your desired layout from the options. Next, click on advanced style and navigation. Here you can set the page elements, co color, font size, and indent. You can hide the borders, resize, resize the submit button, or hide the image by tick marking the respective checkboxes. And now let's enable in-app purchase. Click on the AIP icon here and enable the in-app purchase toggle. Next, enter the Android and iOS payment credentials in their respective fields to activate in-app purchases. You can refer to our tutorial on how to activate in-app purchases for Android and iOS. Now enter the Google Client ID and Client Secret key in their respective fields. Refer to our tutorial to obtain the keys. If you want, you can provide a weekly, monthly, or yearly subscription. You can also set the currency type and enter the one-time payment value that you want to charge from the app users. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to use the provided in-app purchase credentials as global credentials. Once you are done, click on Save and Continue. Now let's go to my app's backend to enable payments and manage settings for the HIPAA form feature. In my app section, click on HIPAA form. Before you, you can make any changes, you'll be required to re-enter your account password to ensure the security of your account. Once you have verified your account, you'll be redirected to HIPAA form dashboard. In the inquiries tab, you will see all the inquiries made by the user. Here you can check the request ID, subject of the request, date and time on which the request was submitted. 
Under the action column, you can mark the inquiry as read, view the inquiry detail, or delete the inquiry request. Next is the export section. In this section, you can download the inquiry report in the CSV or Excel format for a specific specified date, range, and period. Now coming to settings. The settings section is further categorized into configuration and payment settings. Under the configuration settings, you can edit the request ID format. The format you enter in this field will work as a prefix for numbering users' requests. Now coming to the payment settings. Turn on this toggle to enable payment for the HIPAA form feature and accept payment from the users. From here, you can select the currency code. Based on the currency you selected here, the payment methods will auto set in this section. Next, select the payment type. You can select pay now, predefined, or custom amount option from the dropdown. You can set a predefined amount or allow the users to enter their own amount. Now select the payment method from the option provided, such as PayPal Express, credit card via Stripe, payment gateway, Velocity Pay, etc. Once you have finished setting up the payment, click on save. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.